Hey, Corey here, Backyard RC Guy. Well, the time has come. Fall is here, so we gotta get started on that indoor mini track. So we've got a few things laid out here. I'll get the camera turned around and we'll go through it. So we started gathering up a few things a little while ago to get ready for this. We went out to our local lake, Lake Ontario, grabbed some nice driftwood. We got this long piece here we can use as a bridge, whatever we want. Down here, Got a nice big pile of rocks. Over here, we got a bag of little mini rocks. And then here, we got a bag of sand. Um, we're gonna do it like a sand pit style. Um, that way, if we ever wanna move things around, we could, you know, pick it up, kind of move it around, make nothing really too solid. Change it up whenever we want. Um, so yeah, we started with this here. Got Just got some styrofoam. Cut it into a big, sh you know, shapes. Stuck it all together. We can put it in any corner that we want. Um, that's going to give us a nice climbing hill. Give us something to start, see what our, you know, suspension-wise, what we can do. Um, so I guess the next thing we're going to do is kind of uh, sand in, guide out some trails to give you, you know, this would be pretty hard, I think. We get stuck on all these, all these really hard edges. Um, then after that, we'll get it painted. We've got some dirt for it, some shrubbery. Let's get this going. So here's what we're using. Just got a little wire brush. Got our X-Acto knife. Just got this little uh, tool that we're gonna use to be able to scrape the edges. And then some of the ledges are a little bit deep. I know that when I was doing it, but I had these little rocks. So we're gonna be able to use them to be able to make it obviously a little more realistic, that kind of stuff. So that way, once we do get the trail built in, it's gonna give us something to grip on. That way it can keep on climbing. So let's continue on. down uh, we've got like three different kind of trails we're going to be able to do here we got one that we're going to go up through here we got one that kind of goes up through here and twists up this way and then we got one that we're going to leave as a little bit more of a harder edge so it gives it a little bit more we can test out that suspension and the really you know the the vertical climb i guess if you want to call it um, so we're going to get things cleaned up here we'll get our spray paint we'll get this turned into something that looks a little bit more like a rock edge then we'll be able to move on to the next thing. So we've got this uh, gloss sand, and then this is called a satin granite. Best we could do. So uh, we're gonna get this painted up. We'll, uh, we'll just give that a few minutes to dry. We'll come back and we'll hit it a few more times. So we got the first couple of coats on. Now what I'm gonna do with the next few coats as I finish it up, sorry, busy road. Um, I'm gonna use some of the sand that we're gonna use for the sand pit. And as I do a light coat, I'm gonna sprinkle the sand on, light coat, sprinkle the sand on, you know, and hopefully that'll give us some good traction. I'll get you a little closer here. So there, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. We'll do this a couple more times. We should have ourselves a good little uh, rock climb. Now we're going to take some of this sand color and kind of use it just up where the three kind of trails are going to be. Um, and then we got some shrubbery and different stuff to add in there to give it some real life look.
There you go. I think that's about. I think that's about all we're gonna need. We'll uh, we'll let this dry for the night. Then tomorrow we'll come back, get all the shrubbery and stuff in there. We can move on to the next thing. All right. So now that it's all dry, we've got some of this uh, like shrubbery, you know, tumbleweed stuff. We got some of this green moss stuff, some brown stuff. And we even got some of this bright ass color stuff and different kind of stuff. So we're just gonna use our glue, that kind of thing. We're just gonna run a little bit in between here, give it a little bit of look, texture. Um, and so that way you kind of know where to run the lines. Stay off the plants, man. All right, so here we go. This is how we've ended up with our little rock climbing hill. We've added lots of stuff to kind of decorate it. You know, give it a little bit of appeal. Um, see something cool? Let me know in the comments. If you think there's something I should add? Once again, let me know in the comments. Um, we've got some rocks at the top there. We've just started a little bit of the sand here at the bottom just to give you the, the transition look. Know what it's gonna be. Um, I guess in the next video, we'll start adding some of the driftwood. We've got all our other big rocks, that kind of stuff. We've got some rope here so we can do some kind of a bridge, maybe a rope cross, that kind of thing. And then we've also got this stuff here. So that way we can make some sort of another maybe swing bridge or we'll figure it out. All right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that thumbs up because it helps us a lot. And if you could share that video so lots of other people see it and we can grow. See you again soon.